Hi boys and girls, we are doing our lesson 19, Reader's Notebook pages. This is our grade one, volume two, Reader's Notebook. The three pages we're doing right now are page 49, page 50, and page 51. So on this first page, we are going to practice our spelling words. And we're going to sort them into words with that, that use O-W to spell the O sound, O-W to spell the O sound, and O-A to spell the O sound, O-A to spell the O sound. So this word, this spelling word that says show, show, and it has an O-W. So let's go ahead and put it on this side, show. What does this one say? R O. Row. It has an O W. We're going to put it on this side with the O W words. B O T. B O T. Boat. We're going to put it over here on the side with the O A words. Boat. Blow has an O W. Toad has an O A. Road has an O-A right there. So we're going to put it over here with the O-A words. And low, O-A, coat has an O-A, grow, it has an O-A. We're going to have to like really squeeze these up here. Grow. Well, anyway, we'll we'll get we'll make sure you see that at the end. And snow has an O W. Did I say grow had an O A? It has an O W. And this says snow. It almost looks like show, doesn't it? But that's an N, not an H. So I'll put it over here. I'll put it over here. And then our challenge words that are not that are not going to be part of this assignment, um, but they will be part of our spelling test are toast and flown. Toast and flown. All right, so now all we have left to do is to to write these words over here. So I'm going to put this down a little bit. Let's see. Okay, now we can spread them out a little bit, huh? It's still not going to be enough. So so much for what I thought was a wonderful idea. I think I'll put this over here. Okay. <laughs> I think we're back to our original one. I'm getting my marker out. I want you to get your marker out too. Let's go ahead and write all these words down, okay? Starting with show and then snow. Show, sh, oh. Snow, sn, oh. Blow, they all are spelled with an O-W to make the long O sound. And I'm noticing all these O-W words are at the end. They're like they're the last sound. The O-W is at the end of the word. This says low, L-O-W, low. Okay, so now let's do row. Let's do this one. Row and grow. That was our last one that that used an O W to spell it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little hint on your spelling test. If the last sound you hear is O, then spell that spelling wor word with an O W. Okay, because on this side they're using the O A to spell the middle of a word, like boat, b, o, t. You hear the O sound in the middle, and so you would use the O, A spelling instead of the O, W spelling, which we only use at the end, unless it's a challenge word, but that's a different thing. So boat, let's do the next one, toad, t, 
O D. Toad. To hear the long O in the middle of it, so we use the O A spelling. Road. Hey, toad, road. They rhyme. Er, O D. Road. And last spelling word that uses O A to spell the long O sound is coat. K O T. Coat. All right. So you can pause the video here if you're not done. Okay, let's go ahead and do some grammar. So we're going to be using, we're going to be practicing um, using the future tense, using the word will. So, Mrs. Gillen, what do you mean future tense? Well, we have practiced the past present and past and present tenses up to now. Let me just put this over here. So, for example, here's the, a girl. She's going to dance, right? That's a root word, dance. But you could put endings like ed if you want it to um, show that she did, she danced in the past. In the past, you can put an ed, danced. If you want to say she's dancing right now, you can just add an s. She dances. Okay, so you can see the root word there, dance, dance. But if you want to tell that she's going to dance in the future, that she will dance, well, you have to write the word will in front of it. So we're going to do, we're just going to practice some of those, okay? Let me go ahead and put this up here. I think I'll put this way up here. And just so you won't be confused, we'll take this off of there and put this here. All right, so here's our root word, read. You see the dad? He's going to read to his little kid. Read. So if you did it in the past, this actually says read. You don't say read But if you did it in the past, you would say read. I read to my kid. Okay, he, if he's doing it right now in the present, he reads to his kid. And they just added the S, you see, to make it the present tense. But if you want to say he's going to read, he will read, you know, he's going to do it later on today, you have to put the word will in front of it. He will read. Later this week, we'll, we're, we'll, we will do going to read, but for today, it's just will read. Okay, let's do two more, just as examples. Here is the... Um, the the root word fly. <sighs> this is, okay, normally you would just add an ed to a verb to make it sound like it happened in the past, but we have irregular words like flew. And the bird flew away. That means he already did it. He did it in the past. Okay, flies. That means he's doing it right now. He's doing it in the present. And there are rules about you have to change the y knock off the Y and add I-E-S, but that's a later lesson. And then if you want to show that it's going to happen in the future, you will say will fly. He will fly. Remember that part, because that's what we're going to do today. Your last one, let's see, what shall we do? Let's do climb. So just a second here. Climb. Okay, so you see the monkey? The, this, what's he going to do? He's going to climb the tree. But if he already climbed it, you'd have to add an ED to show that it happened in the past. If he's doing it right now, he climbs the tree, you would add an S. He's doing it in the present. If he's going to do it, then you'll have to put the word will in front of it. Will climb. He will climb the tree. Okay, so with that in mind, Let's do our lesson. I think we're ready. So future using will. We're going to circle the sentences that tell about the future. And that means they're going to have the word will in them. We're going to circle those. And then the ones that don't, we're going to have to write them again. And we're going to have to put the word will in the sentence to make them be in the future tense. So, I read each day. 
Did that have will in it? No. So we're going to have to write that. I will read each day. Down here, I will read. You can barely put finger spaces. Because if you do, you won't have enough room. Each. Okay, we don't have any more room, so we're going to write the word day right here. Day. And put a period. I will reach. Did I say reach? I was thinking of each. I will read. Okay, this has now turned into a D. Ah, that was not a very graceful D. I will read each day. Let's look at the next sentence. And you can always pause the video here in order to do that. Let's see, the next one is using the word will. Brent will meet you at the shop. Yes, it is. He's going to do that in the future. Okay, so this is in the future tense. It tells about the future, what he will do. Okay, number three. My dad helps me read. Did it have the word will in it? Nope, we have to rewrite it to tell about the future. So my dad will help me read. You know what? Let's just change it so it's shorter. Dad will help. me. And let's just put a period there. We don't have room for the words my and read. So we're just going to do it what we can and be resourceful. Dad will help me. My dad helps me read. My dad will help me. Dad will help me. Okay, let's go on to the next one. They washed the van. Hey, that's not future tense. In fact, I can tell because of the ED that it's past tense, and we need to change it so it has the word will in it, so it'll be future tense. They will wash the van. Oh, look, they gave us lots of room for that one. They will wash. And we're not going to put an ED after wash when we write it, wash. We, they will, whoa, they will wash the van. They will wash the van. That means they're going to do it in the future. Okay, and of, of course, this one has the word will in it. Fran will beat the eggs. So we're going to circle that sentence. You can spend all the time you need to rewrite those three sentences that were not in future tense. And you can pause the video here to do that. Okay, we're going to move on. We're going to be doing order of events, sequence of events, what happens in the beginning, middle, end, what happened first, what happened next, what happened last. And so they want us to write sentences about what you did to get ready for school. So I'm going to imagine what you did. And I'm going to imagine that first you showered. First, I'm going to say first I showered. Okay, because I'm pretending I'm you. First, I showered. Sh showered. First, I showered. First, I showered. Okay, and what did you do after you showered to go to school? Maybe you got dressed, for sure. Next, I dressed. Yeah, you want to have some clothes on for sure. Uh -huh. I dressed. Got to have some dignity. And then last, maybe you ate breakfast. You can say last, I ate 
I eight. So then you have to have pictures that match. So first I showered, okay? Well, I don't want to see you taking a shower. Maybe you can do this. Here's the shower. Here's the curtain that goes in front of the shower. And everyone will understand why you aren't showing yourself showering. Because you know, we're modest around here. This is your um this is your shower curtain, okay? First I showered and then next I dressed and then show yourself all dressed. Okay, here's gonna be Mrs. Gillum. You if you're a boy or a girl, just draw yourself the way you look. Okay, what am I dressed in? Okay, I'm dressed in a shirt and some pants today. The important thing, and I'm wearing socks because this is a lockdown, um, and I don't have to wear shoes because I'm not outside or in a public place. Okay, I'm in a long sleeve shirt with buttons. Okay, I showered, I dressed, I ate. Well, I had um, blueberry muffins today. So I'm just going to draw my blueberry muffin. I made it myself, thank you. Blueberry muffin. Okay, I had a blueberry muffin today. So now I'm all finished, not only writing the order that I did things before I went to school today, but drawing the things I did. Sorry, I have fingers. Uh, before I came to school today. So, hope you learned something. Toodaloo.